Welcome back now on to our weekly political segment, Spotlight 2017. This week we focus on the high-stakes exercise of voter registration, which is set to begin a week from today. The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is targeting some 4 million new voters ahead of the 2017 general election. KTN's Morim Mwangi now reports on why it is no easy ride for the electoral body. Tasked with a daunting task to register 4 million new voters in just 30 days, but faced with a 1.5 billion shillings budgetary shortfall, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission is walking an extremely tight rope, barely 18 months to the 2017 general election. If we're able uh, to get more funding, we shall be able to expand the centers for voter registration. But because of time uh, resource constraints, we are only able now to do it at the world level. Starting Monday next week, 2,878 voter registration clerks spread out across the 1,450 wards across the country and armed with two biometric voter registration kits in each ward will kick off the first phase of the voter registration exercise during which the IEBC is casting out its net to register 4 million new voters. A move that has angered the opposition coalition cord, which wanted IEBC to station a voter registration center in every polling station, a demand which IEBC says was in fact in its initial plan at an estimated cost of 2 billion shillings, but Treasury only availed 500 million shillings for the exercise, forcing the commission to settle for the world-based registration centers. We must tell the country, as a chair of IBC, what criteria he is using to distribute the 15,000 so kits he has against the huge uh, uh, polling stations across the country. Biometric voter registration kits are enough. They are working very well. We are the ones we are using to register voters. In fact, we have got more than enough. We have got more than 15,000 uh, machines. And we're only going to deploy about three or four thousand. It means each ward working at an optimum of 70 percent. What are the Kisha, Watu, Chini, Elefumbili, Kwamwezi Muzima. Prior to the 2013 general election, IEBC had hired 30,000 voter registration clerks spread across 25,000 voter registration centers, a move that saw the commission register 14 million voters in just 30 days ahead of the last general election. This time, however, IEBC says it will only use 3,000 BVR kits out of the 15,000 that are available, citing inadequate funds to hire more voter registration clerks msimamo wa waipa na code ni kwamba lazima wapeleke chombo cha kujiandikisha kama voter in every polling station in this country but even at the world level i can assure you if people are really mobilized and they come out we can still get the numbers because even last year within 30 days we were able to get 40.3 million but going into the 2017 general election even the ministry of interior is yet again on the receiving end of a claims by the opposition that the Department of Registration of Persons is deliberately delaying the release of national identity cards for Kenyans assumed to be from court strongholds to bar them from participating in the voter registration exercise. But Interior PS Karanja Kebisho is shifting the blame to Kenyans whom he says are not collecting their IDs in time, adding that nearly 400,000 new national identity cards still lie uncollected at various Huduma centers and county government offices across the country, most of them from the Rift Valley, Central and Nyanza regions. Sasa enda Huduma Center utapata mtu ambaye na peana vipande. Hakuna. Which means, they have, as my brother Weta said, they have started the pre-rigging. What are we rigging now before the election? <laughs> so if you've already sensed defeat, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. just tell your supporters slowly, start to break down the, you know, that they're going to lose. IEBC is caught up in the political war of words, 
despite announcing plans to sanitize the next elections by investing in new technology, including what it calls a tamper-proof results transmission system to allow presiding officers at individual polling stations to scan the hard copy results and send a soft copy to the National Command Center, where it will then be uploaded on the IEBC website. And I'm hoping that uh, we, are able to, we shall be able to persuade Treasury and Parliamentary Committee on Budget to give us enough resources to be able to buy whatever we need to buy now, this year. If, there is, if it's about resources, Parliament is going to resume next week. The supplementary budget will be tabled by my office. We will make sure IEBC gets the, the amount of money they, they need, but in consultation with the National Treasury. Now faced with the budgetary constraint and integrity questions raised predominantly by the court coalition, the IEBC is no doubt walking a tight rope even as it prepares to commence that voter registration exercise. But it is IEBC's strong statement that the commission now more than ever before needs the support of all the political players, particularly on issues of voter mobilization, ahead of that exercise slated to start from next Monday. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.